everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be kind of a bummer today, I'm sorry to say. Um, I was really looking forward to reviewing this Tarte Works of Art palette for you. It's uh, one of their holiday editions this year. It's um, I purchased it off of Ulta.com and um, it just looked so amazing. Just, you know, like tons of product and fabulous for $49. And the what bugs me about this is that it's I was not aware of this until one of you commented um, about this and then I did some digging and I found that the Tarte and Too Faced palettes for holiday are all made in China. And to some of you that is no big deal. And I don't know even how much of a big deal it is to me, um, I guess it's a big deal is big of a deal enough for me to make this video because I felt a little betrayed, I suppose. Um, so Tarte and Too Faced and Benefit and other companies, Urban Decay, they make their products here in the US, as far as I know. Some products are made in Italy, some in Germany, you know, they have a variety of um, manufacturing sites and it also depends on what it is. Um, and where those kind of, like Germany makes a lot of pencils for cosmetic companies and because um, they're good at that. <laughs> and I had already done my Too Faced um, chocolate shop video, which I stand by that review. I, I do want to say that I love that palette. I think it's adorable. I was bummed to find out it is made in China, at least the shadows. Everything in the palette, the shadows and the contour, highlighter and blush are made in China. The shadow insurance, the Better Than Sex mascara and the Melted Lip are all made in the US or non-China um, origins um, because I think they already have those kinds of the production on those sizes available to them. Um, I'm pretty sure the reason these companies do this is because they want to mass produce things. They want to keep the cost down to us. They want to bring it to us in a timely way. And I get that. And I, t I totally get that. But the problem is a few people have been like, why are the palettes not that great? Why are these special edition palettes not as great as their, let's say the chocolate, um, the Too Faced chocolate or the, um, you know, their new palette or, or even the Tarte, you know, the Tarte and Bloom and the Tartlets and all those other little, you know, eyeshadow palettes that they make. Why are they not as good? And well, it's because they're not made in the same facility. So ingredients wise, pigment wise, it's all different. Um, that's my long introduction. And I figure if this is important to people, now they can be a little bit more educated and buyer beware kind of thing. If that's not important to you and you don't care and you just want to know if it's good, then great, you know, keep watching. <laughs> I will tell you. Um, so the Tarte, um, the Tarte um, Works of Tarte <laughs> palette is really fantastic in a lot of ways. I'll give you some pros and cons and break it down for you. So it comes in this case and I love how it's, it's very works of art, like a poochy design of the 70s. You know, it's, it's uber chic, um, it's fun, it's a little bit bulky. So the Too Faced, definitely I like the whimsy of it better. Um, this has an excellent mirror, let me just say. Um, and this, I guess you can rip out when you're done with it and use it for like a little jewelry box or, you know, to keep little makeup items in on your um, dresser or whatever, makeup table. Kind of the complaint I have about this is that the packaging is it looks like it's intended to be reused for something else when you're done with the product, or at least you could like lift this shadow tray out, but you can't. It do, you have to, you know, you would have to like get in there and rip it out. Um, or, you know, if you wanted to repot them or whatever, pan them, you know what I mean. 
<laughs> okay, so so what you get in this set is 24 clay eyeshadows, two clay contour powders, and a highlighter, a deluxe lash paint mascara, a glossy lip paint, and a brush. So here are your 24 shades of eyeshadows, and I am wearing a selection of them today. Um, I am wearing this guy right here in the shade Be An Original. I'm wearing Sepia, so I'm wearing these two. I'm wearing the two light ones, and I think I'm also wearing, oh, I'm wearing Gilded Gallery. And so this is the eye look I created, and it's very neutral, has a little bit of, you know, more of the reddish undertones in terms of the plum. Um, plums. It does have some cool tones too. Uh, Renaissance Woman, Contrast, Kaleidoscope. Those are all kind of like plummy, cool tones. Same with this shade Stencil, which is a great taupe. There's a number of matte shades and shimmer shades. There's deep tone shades and sort of light transition shades that are really good to just blend great everyday colors. Um, and just you know really neutral workable shades with that said i feel like a lot of these are the same so they look a little bit different in slight you know they're just slightly you know darker lighter redder whatever how shades go but once i put them on it was kind of like okay brown okay taupe <laughs> you know like what 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 do we have here and nothing kind of special about the shimmers like nothing that just popped you know like ooh, I put this shimmer metallic on and it just gleamed no it didn't and then they don't really have any pops of color like there's a couple like this green is pretty and the plums they're nice but they're dark so you could make a good contour shade but it's not like oh wow that's what I loved about the Too Faced one is that some of the sparkly stuff was super sparkly and then they had some pops of color so i felt like it was more versatile that's my thing okay so beautiful and um i would say not as great blendability wise as original tarte shadows but nice shadows you know, I will say this, I complain about these being made in China and then I continue to buy other products like Wet n Wild or even the Cargo Palette is made in China. And I understand that. And let me just clarify, I purchase it knowing it's made in China, that's fine. But if I'm under the impression that this company produces in the US or is, you know, 100% um, vegan or, or whatever it is, then if they create a product that I feel like they just kind of slipped it in there, uh, that sort of, that just to me, that's not the same quality. Okay, so in this little drawer right here, so cute, um, it doesn't come out. Okay, it does not come out. So it slides out, here is your brush. This could be your eyeshadow brush. This could be a great like concealer brush to, um, you know, this is just a cute little brush. Here are your lip paint and your mascara. I'm wearing the lip paint today. I am wearing like a Milani nude lip pencil with it. The lip paint shade is, oh, it's a very pretty nude shade that you can see. It reminds me of like a glossy version of Namaste. I'll just swatch it for you. Um, it is a very comfortable formula. I have not tried this formula before. Um, but I do love Tarte lip products, so this um, glossy lip paint is really cute. It doesn't taste like anything. It's not like, oh, it tastes like cocoa or it tastes, you know, it doesn't taste anything. Um, personally, this was also the first time I had tried the lip, I'm sorry, the lash paint, um, this Tartist Lash Paint Mascara. And I prefer the Lights Camera Lashes. That's actually what I finished my lashes with. Um, this was just sort of okay in my book. Um, but I know people love this um, lash paint, so cool. I, I'm just letting you know for me. Um, okay, so this little guy pops out, and these are your cheek colors. This is your face shades. And look how cute that is, like an artist palette. Love it. So here is your highlighter shade. That's your highlighter shade, 
and these are your they say two contours which for me I feel like one is a blush one is a bronzer I don't know who would contour with this shade right here um, and it's sort of like you know here's your rosy dusty pink and here's your bronzy bronze and good matte uh, formula not too chalky or anything like that really nice and here is the highlight really pretty um, they do have good pigment I will say that these three have good pigment um, but I did want to point out the fact that so you guys might have noticed back when I did the exposed highlight and I compared this to the essence highlight this exposed highlight is really awesome I love this and I love it because it's got a sheen to it. It blends beautifully on the skin. It gives you that kind of lit from within look. And this highlighter that's in the kit, you can tell it is not the same formula. It just isn't. If you are, if you are just really into this exposed um, highlight and you're thinking, yay, I get a bonus. You kind of don't. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it's a little chunkier. Um, it just it doesn't kind of have that smooth, like I applied it today and I think it looks pretty good, but I prefer the, the this one. So it's just, it's like, uh. Also, this shade is really orange for contouring. I'm not sure anybody should really contour with that. Oh, you know. But listen to me, Miss Know It All. Um, okay, so that is the highs and lows of the palette. So it is a three hundred and eighty-one dollar retail value, um, which it's fabulous. But if you already have neutral shades, if you want to gift this to someone who already has a ton of neutrals or is maybe like a die-hard Tarte enthusiast, they might be able to tell that these aren't quite up to snuff. Um, I did look in last year's, uh, I got the QVC palette and I got the Sephora Tarte palette and both of those were made in China as well. So clearly this is something that the companies are doing to, you know, mass produce and try to, to please the, 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 you know, the thousands and millions that purchase their products. But in my book, um, it's, it's just, it's not, it's not for me. And so I think I'm going to kind of just be looking out for other palettes and other sets that have the same integrity of that company's product um, as it does the rest of the year, not just at holiday time. Um, so that is my opinion. So I really hope that you understand the point of this video. Um, I love Tarte. I just not thrilled with this holiday set. Um, so Tarte and Too Faced and anyone else out there, if you guys could just not produce in China for holiday, that would be great. How about just give us fewer eyeshadows with better quality and maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not running a company. I don't, I can't make those decisions, but that's just, I mean, as a consumer, we have a voice too, so <laughs> I'm speaking up. <laughs> All right, and like I said, I hope this was helpful to you, and um, I will be on the lookout for better, just, you know, whatever deals or whatever values I can bring you and things that I love this season or for any other time of year. Um, I'm here for you. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.